You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Hey there, Sprouts. Today is Friday. January 8th, 2021. This week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we have been looking to the example of some incredible American and Canadian saints for how we are called to live within our domestic church. Through the example of Mother Seton, St. Elizabeth Ann Seton, we have been reminded that mothers are called to pattern their lives after our Blessed Mother. Through the example of St. Nauman, St. John Nauman, we have been reminded that fathers speak the special language of their families, just like God the Father, and are called to be protectors like St. Joseph. Through the example of St. Andre Bessette, a great Canadian saint, we were reminded that we are all children of God, especially within our domestic church, and that we are called to be humble and to rely on God completely. Now, yesterday we spoke about the liturgy of the home. Since our families were created by God, And because through our family life, we encounter the love and blessing of God, what happens within our homes is a liturgy. And it is only through interaction, repeated interaction, repeated lessons of sacrificial love and forgiveness that we learn the most important lessons in life. Now, today I am going to give you the how. How? Do we really live in a domestic church? I know that that term, domestic church, might sound a little bit scary, a little bit something that your family might not quite be able to do, but that's a lie. Every family, every family that is open to it can become a domestic church. And it's very simple. Are you ready? The real key to becoming a domestic church is to talk to each other about the faith. It's that simple. To become a domestic church, all you need to do is regularly talk to each other about the faith. Now, maybe your parents are listening and they're thinking, but I don't know the faith as well as I should. That doesn't matter. You can share your questions, your thoughts, and most importantly, you can learn together. So you're here listening to the Catholic Express podcast, and that's awesome. But what is so, so much more important than listening to my voice is that after you're done listening, you turn this off and you talk to each other about what you heard. That is the most important thing besides going to Holy Mass that you can do as a family. Talk about it. Now, many parents, including my own, this parent right here talking to you, we grew up in houses where we went to Mass and we came home and we didn't really talk about our faith at home. And that leaves families sort of confused and you're not really connected in what you believe. It might seem scary to try to get this started, to start talking about the faith together, but that is the most important thing that you can do. Now, if while you're talking, you come to a question that you don't know the answer to, that your parents don't know the answer to, that's fine. You know, as a domestic church, we aren't called for the parents to be standing in front lecturing and the children to be learning. This isn't that kind of a school. This is a school of love where we talk and we learn together. So if you have a question you can't answer, go ask your priest after Mass on Sunday. Or perhaps you can find a YouTube video that will help answer this question and you can learn together. It's totally fine. In fact, none of us have all of the answers. We're all still learning. 
I do research before every single one of these episodes because I don't have all of this knowledge already. I have to go and learn from others. And that is the beautiful thing about our Catholic Church. We get to stand on the shoulders of giants. There are great theologians throughout Catholic history like St. Thomas Aquinas, St. Augustine, St. John Paul II. We get to hear what they prayerfully realize, what God revealed to them, and we get to share in their knowledge. So just like that as parents, your parents might not have all the answers, but the answers are out there and you can find them together. So how, how do we become a domestic church? By talking about Jesus together. Say his name together. Talk about Mary together. Talk about the saints that we talk about on this podcast together. Marvel at them. Really dive into the liturgical seasons together. But if we speak about our faith together at home, then we are a domestic church. And I know that whoever you are listening to this, Becoming a domestic church is not only a possibility for you, it is your future. Embrace it. And so Sprouts, my challenge for you today is to simply do this. Turn off this podcast episode and talk about Jesus with whomever you happen to be with right now. Talk about him. How do you feel about him? Do you know him? Do you trust him? Share one thing and then listen while your family members share one thing as well. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Just one more thing, our brand new app, the Domestic Church Project app, is available right now. We are enrolling families to go through the Domestic Church Project boot camp through January 6th at midnight. So if you would like to be part of this incredible experience that has already transformed families and given them the real blueprint that any family can use to build their domestic church please join us. You can find more at domesticchurchproject.com. If you missed this enrollment window or this simply wasn't quite the right moment for your family, please know that we will be opening the doors back up for the boot camp right around Ash Wednesday. So you can join us at that time. 